morning good afternoon and good evening everyone to the channel it simplified and the videos on azure uh, in today's video i will show you how you can publish application by using the rds server that we deployed in our last video so let's get started i am on my rds server and under overview go to create session collections and uh, in the, this window you can click next you can give the name for the collection here it's going to be My core app, feel free to give anything you want. In the RD session host, it's going to be my server, which is an RD server. Pick that. And uh, I want these users. So basically, all the users that I have in my domain controller, they'll be able to access the application that I'm going to publish and select next. I don't want to enable any user profile disk. And you get a brief summary. And you click on create. Okay, so the session collection was created successfully. Let's close this window. And you see my core app has uh, appeared on this uh, window. So let's expand this. And you see under the remote app program, I can just expand this task and you can go to publish remote app program. Select this. And let's test by uh, specifying certain application that we want to publish. So let's publish calculator, disk cleanup, paint, and uh, let's pick one more. Let's pick task manager also. Okay, and select next. So all these applications will be published and you click on publish. So you see that uh, we get the successful notifications. You can close this and uh, this is our visible in uh, RD web access. Now what we want to do is we want to test this by using the public IP address of our RDS server. But before we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to open the HTTPS port, which is by default blocked within Azure. So what I'm going to do is I will go to my server, which is an RDS server, expand that. Under settings, go to networking. Under the network interface, expand this card. And you'll go to network security group. And it is an inbound security rule. Click on add. And it is an advanced rule. So if you click on basic, you can go to advanced under the service. It's going to be HTTPS with port 443. It will automatically appear and click on add. So it is basically creating a security rule because we'll be accessing these application, which is on the RDS server via the HTTPS port. So the security rule was created successfully. And as you can see that this port has appeared and it's open now. So what we want to do is let's come out of this and uh, I will grab the public IP of my RDS server. So grab the public IP and uh, we will paste this in the URL. So let's type HTTPS. going to be RD web hit enter accept the certificate okay and here we'll give the domain and the username so just remember that I have a domain controller in that I have a user with the name 
Shivam and I'll try to log with that name and my uh, domain name is ABC let's see if you're able to access that I'm providing the password for the uh, user with the name Shivam and let's sign in and as you can see that all these uh, uh, application that we deployed on our RDS server are being accessed by Shivam so I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.